uh, an acquisition, a nice tuck in acquisition for Marvell. Marvell acquired a company called uh, Tanzanite. And to understand this acquisition, you have to understand a bus standard called uh, CXL, uh, Compute Express Link, uh, invented by uh, Intel. Uh, I would say spearheaded by Intel, but it is a, an industry, a de facto industry standard uh, out there for, for high speed, low latency, low power buses. And you're like, oh my gosh, what a snoozer. Well, here's what that means. Essentially, uh, and it's true, it's Tr truest form, I mean, certainly it means that uh, you can have uh, faster interaction between uh, GPUs and, and the CPU and, and memory, but you can also share memory. But the super exciting part to me is when you get to the third uh, instantiation of it, CXL 3.0, where you can actually uh, create pools of, of memory. I talked about this uh, a little bit in relation to uh, Micron, and I, I won't, you know, I'll wait wait for uh, that analysis to, to dive in. But essentially, it allows you, you know, today, if you want more storage, you can have more storage without adding more compute. You can, you can put on a SAN, or you can put on a NAS, or you can have cloud storage. If you want compute, more compute, you add more compute. But if you want more memory, you essentially have to add uh, more compute, right? Because memory and compute are, are, are correlated. So the only thing in the data center uh, that you can't compose or, or have pools of resources on is memory. And CXL 3.0 enables this. And this acquisition enables um, Marvell to play a very uh, big uh, role uh, in this. And, you know, Tanzanite, many people view them as one of the leaders here. Now, from a Marvell standpoint, they do a lot of acceleration, right? Whether it's network acceleration, uh, you know, on the uh, the DPU or NIC or, or things like that. This gives them a, a front row seat uh, to, to, I think, better take advantage of, of that acceleration. Yeah, the technical background there was really helpful, Pat. I think a lot of people probably don't really know what CXL is or where it came from. I think the, you know, correlation between compute and memory continues to require more, which we'll talk a little bit about when we talk about Micron in a minute, why they're so important. It was like my tweet last night, Pat, right? What's uh, all the compute in the world without adequate memory? It's, you know, all the cores in the world, it's, it's pretty much nothing. And so, you know, the ability to provide enough memory to all these cores, all this compute that we're putting into the data center is gonna be critical. And being able to scale this more seamlessly and more cost effectively could be a real differentiator. This is something that Marvell is going to be able to take to its enterprise customers, its cloud customers. And this is, by the way, very core to the Marvell uh, business and how it's been able to pivot, change. And by the way, Pat, I think when we go to San Jose and we talk to Matt Murphy, this is going to be something we're going to probably want to talk about. But, um, you know, based on the size of this deal, I think it's going to go quickly. It's going to go smoothly. Um, you know, they're a small company, uh, about 40 headcount. They're still early days. It, it's, it's not revenue at this point, but I like that. I think Marvell is being very intelligent to take advantage of a market where a company like Tanzanite would probably have not had as easy of a time raising capital at, at past uh, you know rates. Uh, we're seeing discounting uh, following into that space, but, but Marvell can take this, it can commercialize it, it can monetize it, it can bring it to its customers, and it can continue to uh, scale its very successful um, run into this data center and cloud space. So good move, Pat. You covered it pretty well. So not a lot, uh, I think, that I had to say, but I do like it. And I, I think it's a, it's good for strengthening its end-to-end -end data infrastructure approach. 